Good morning, everybody. Excited that you can um, join us this morning. Um, appreciate you taking the time as well um, to, to join us on this webinar. So uh, we've got quite a lot to get through today. So uh, I'm going to move on fairly, fairly swiftly. Um, we, we always commit to making sure that we have these webinars completed uh, within the 40 minutes that, that are scheduled. So we should be finishing um, at 11.40. So once again, thank you for joining. Hope it's useful for you um, and, and we'll move on. What we will do is the, if there are any questions you've got, um, then use the, the question um, app, obviously in the, the GoToWebinar app and I'll keep an eye on those probably go to the questions just before we go on to the, the demo that we've that we've got um, and if we're not able to get all through, all through the questions then uh, we'll be back in contact I will be back in contact after the webinar um, to make sure all the questions get answered lovely okay so introduction to myself and the team with me so I'm um, Graham, Graham Stead, uh, I'm the client relationship director here at CMI so basically my, my key responsibility is to make sure that the clients that we work with really get the benefits that they should be out of technology into into their business and you know a key part of that is I, I guess education and informing our clients um, you know what what is changing what's available um, in, in technology so webinars such as this are, are a key part of that um, today um, obviously we're, we're, we're um, doing this webinar uh, with our partner 8x8 and we've got Matt and Will with us today so Matt um, if you want a quick 30 second intro yeah hi my name is Matthew Marchant uh, I've been with 8x8 about five years now four of those as a sales engineer so I do demonstrations like this. And I uh, moved over to uh, partner enablement earlier in the year. So I now do some of the deep dive technical training for some of our partners. So that's me. Thank you, Matt. Um, and we've also got Will um, Will Armitage. So Will is um, our account manager um, over at 8x8. Uh, Will, are you with us? I'm, I'm not sure you, you were Hi, caught up somewhere. You are excellent. For Hi there, everyone. Yeah, thank you very much for joining the webinar, you know, with, with one of our key partners, CMI. So, uh, you know, a big driver here at 8x8 is our, is our channel first model. Um, and so working with the likes of Graham and CMI in order to enable, uh, you know, customers and prospects alike um, is absolutely key for us. So I hope today's really fulfilling for everyone. Excellent. And thank you both for joining. OK, so um, swiftly moving on, really. So the, the outcomes, it's just sort of set up. The, the, the scene and really um, as attendees what I hope you will walk away with at the end of the 40 minutes spent with us. So um, I'm going to quickly just cover off why modern telephony um, and then also introduce your, your options. You know it's surprising how many how many businesses out there are still using what I would call traditional telephony so I think it's just important rather than assuming we have all made the move to modern telephony is just to understand what that actually means so a couple of slides around that. We'll then move on into looking at the benefits of, of integrating your modern telephony into Microsoft Teams. Um, now, I appreciate Microsoft Teams isn't the only collaboration tool out there, but it's certainly the one that, that you know, is, 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 is one of the most common ones. And I'm assuming on the basis that you're um, attending today, it's probably the one that, that you're using within your business. We'll then pass over to Matt um, so he can provide a sort of a, a five, maybe 10 minute demonstration of the Teams integration. And then after that, we'll have uh, a couple of minutes just to just to summarize really what's required um, in order to bring the 8x8 integration into your Teams platform. Okay, so why a modern phone system? Well, I guess just firstly, in case people aren't aware, and this may seem a long way off, um, obviously it is still, four years away, um, but towards the end of 2025, you know, the, the legacy, uh, what we call the PSTN network is going to be turned off um, and withdrawn from service. So that means that anybody still on what we call the traditional phone systems will not, um, you know, their systems will basically, you know, stop working. So that's plenty of time, of course, um, but I just think it's important that people understand that it's not very well uh, I guess very widely publicised um, if you're not in the telephony industry directly. Um, so there is ultimately a, 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 a drop dead date there, but luckily still plenty of time. So, so no, no panics really. Okay, so um, 
again, with, without specifically going into some of the eight by eight benefits and, and the integrations, um, really just a, a summary here. I'm not going to talk through all these points. Um, and actually, I should have said at the introduction, what we will do is post the recording of this webinar um, up on you know, our website and the YouTube channel. So if there's, um, if there's any detail in here that maybe I've skipped across a bit quickly and you want to refer back to, then of course you can, you can refer back and, and wind yourself forward to the appropriate place. So really, I mean, the key benefit for um, moving to sort of modern modern comms, you know, a number of things listed there, but it, it's really around your flexibility, um, agility. You know, it probably means reduced cost as well. I mean, not always, depending on what systems you're coming from, but often it does mean um, reduced cost. Um, but also, you know, enhanced features, feature rich. Yes, you get the obvious. Um, you know, placing calls on hold, call transfer, hunt groups, etc. But there's an awful lot of additional features and benefits, really, that can bring, um, you know, extra, you know, a benefit to your to your business. You know, with with the likes of AI, speech analytics. Um, there's, you know, certainly from you know that speech analytics side of things, you know, how that can help drive, you know, customer service um, is is amazing. You you do not get that in a traditional phone platform. And the and the key thing really there is a traditional phone platform is is the the legacy analog um, and a modern platform really is is digital which of course opens up you know a huge amount of um, extra um, features and benefits i also just want to take a second to debunk some myths now some of these may be legacy um myths that they you know it's surprising when i speak to people and they tell me the reasons why they don't want to move to modern phone systems or VoIP, voice over IP, as, as maybe you've heard it referred to, um, are, are, are some of the fears that maybe in the early days of VoIP were valid, but are no longer valid. So again, not going to talk through everything here, but you know, it, you know poor quality of calls was was very very often cited as, as a reason not to move. That really isn't the case here, and, and particularly with 8x8, they've got some really clever um, tech um, behind the scenes that you and I don't see that actually makes them stand out. So the call quality um, is amazing. Because of that, you don't need the big dedicated internet line. Um, you know, it can it can typically work over. You know, most most broadband. I'm, I'm working at home, as probably most of us are, um, doing this streaming everything I am over over the internet. We don't need those big lines these days. Um, security you know hassle of switching losing numbers you know, there's a number of other things um, that, that we've got listed there but they really are um, you know no longer issues that you should be worrying about um, so don't don't let that restrain you um, if you're considering you know moving forward to, to sort of modern modern phone systems okay so now let's move forward a little bit into into how we're using Microsoft Teams. Now, you know, a lot of businesses get rushed into Microsoft Teams um, because of, you know, that remote work here and, and the early days of COVID. It's been a great tool. Um, I'm sure we've all benefited from um, with, you know, connectivity, the collaboration, etc. And we've been certainly working hard with our clients to bring the, the core, you know, Teams, file collaboration, etc. experience to our clients. But the, the one piece that really is missing now is a lot of our clients um, and, and businesses we talk to have picked Teams as their um, collaboration platform. And that means they're able to communicate very easily um, with you know, their colleagues and people within the business um, and potentially file share, et cetera. Uh, but trying to extend that out to external um, call in to clients, suppliers, et cetera, that may not be on Teams or they haven't got the, um, the Teams Federation set up between the two organizations is a, is, is a problem. Um, and many, many clients also you know, are, are still stuck with a legacy phone system, a handset. So it's been a very difficult period. Um, user experience hasn't been great. So really what we're looking to do is bring you know, that, that external um, telephony, PSTN network, into you know the central teams interface and once you've got that central interface there then you really have you know you've got your telephony mobility your, your traditional conferencing all the collaboration um even contact center and you know that, that's not an exhaustive list that we've got there uh, in that in that little diagram so it really is about making sure that from a user experience um if those users are using teams 
we really are finding that increasingly they're within the team's interface that so makes complete sense to bring the external call-in um, experience into that team's interface as well. And that's really um, what we're talking about today. So I know the 8x8 guys won't mind me saying, you know, we don't have, have an issue sharing this either. Um, you know, there are plenty of options out there. This isn't an exhaustive option. Um, you know, there's, there's 8x8, Mitel, Ring Central, Gamma Horizon. I'm sure they're all um, names that, that you may have been familiar with. And, and of course, Microsoft have their own um, software um, add-ons to, to bring call in. I guess the point here is, you know, it, you know, we, from our perspective, CMI, you went through a fairly, um, well, not a fairly, a very extensive process, you know, last year, tail end of last year, reviewing um, the products and the services and the companies that were available out there because we needed to move ourselves to, to a more modern phone system and actually consolidate a number of different phone systems we'd had through uh, a number of acquisitions we've made over the few years. So we we, we reviewed all of these plus, plus, plus others um, and ultimately selected um, eight by eight. So, you know, and there's a, there's a heap load of reasons why that, and we're not gonna have time to go into all of those today. But I think the point I'm just trying to make here is, you know, as a modern phone system, you know, there are plenty of options there of which 8x8 is, is the one. We believe 8x8 is the right, uh, uh, the better provider of all these, which is why we've partnered with those. We use the system internally ourselves, and obviously that's what we recommend to, to our client base. So let's just take a moment. I'm going to I'm going to compare now that we've selected eight by eight. CMI um, will offer um, clearly eight by eight. That's our preferred um, option. Yeah, you know, there are um, businesses that just want to stick to Microsoft, um, and in some cases there might be a situation where Microsoft may actually be the right platform, or um, because you're looking for some very basic requirements. So what I do just want to do is spend a couple of minutes here, just just comparing, um, you know, the Microsoft. Uh, you know, I guess call-in functionality platform to, to 8x8. Um, and you can see here, again, not an extensive or exhaustive list, but some fairly um, you know, basic comparison. So you know, with, with Microsoft, what we need to bear in mind is Microsoft isn't a telephony business. You know, that's, that's, not, that's not the background they've come from. Um, 8x8, and I'm sure the guys will keep me straight, have, have been in the, in the sort of telephony business for 20 odd years, I think, if, if not longer. Um, so an awful lot of experience there. Um, and you can see there that, you know, Microsoft, in, it's my personal opinion, haven't done a great job of bringing telephony into their stack. Um, it's very restrictive. Um, it, it's constantly changing. Um, and, and they're trying to compete in a space where, to be honest, they're, they're not experts. Um, so their, their calling plans are limited. Um, compared to to eight by eights, you know their 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 flexibility around international calling, not only in um, I guess the breadth and and the global presence, but actually what's inclusive within your monthly subscription is limited. Um, the the way in which the systems work are completely different. So you know you know eight by eights versus Microsoft really will bring that you know that, that you see that unified comms solutions into into one platform. Um, Third party integrations, we all use different apps, whether that's um, Salesforce, HubSpot, um, you know, a, a couple of different applications that we use. Um, there are, you know, 35 plus at, at last count, and I'm sure that's increasing all the time, um, integrations that 8x8 have. Um, so that's that's not something that Microsoft have um, such an extensive amount to. And equally, if contact center is important to you and 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 what we mean by contact center because i'm conscious when we say that and use that term a lot of people may be you know envisaging you know a floor full of you know 100 plus callers um that doesn't you know that, yes that's that's a good size contact center but you know even you know four or five users on a a service desk or a, you know a client um, service center, you know, is in essence a contact center that needs that contact center functionality. Now, with eight by eight, that functionality with the right licensing is um, built into the application. With with others, you're going to need to find another third party vendor in which to um, add on that contact center um, functionality. So, you know. There are some fairly key differences there, which um, you know that's what our role here at CMI is to help you through and and, and understand really what your requirements are uh, and point you in the right direction. And as I say, you know, in the vast majority of cases, eight by eight will you know 
be a clear winner or being the right the right product there may be situations or there may be personal preferences that mean that you'll you'll choose them to go down the microsoft route so um you know what is eight by eight voice for team so as so a graphic here just to try to explain really um you know within the microsoft teams platform application you'll have all your teams users and and whether they're using the desktop or the mobile app um you know the the telephony for a teams user with the 8x8 integration will sit within microsoft teams uh, and that's the, the sort of purple cloud over on on the left now some businesses for you know a variety of reasons won't have all of their user base in microsoft teams um, so what we have in the right hand side is you know if you if you have a situation where you've got telephony users that aren't licensed for teams um, and that there are sort of valid cases for that then they you know with the teams integration you will actually use the 8x8 um, app which we, we call 8x8 work so really what you can see there is if you're a teams user you've got the full teams experience if you're not a teams user um, within your, your business you have the, the full eight by eight work experience which which you know is, is reflective really of the teams now they'll talk so if for example in in our business now we are clearly all teams users but if we had some users that that weren't teams for whatever reason i was a teams user i would use um my Teams application to make my call in. And if I needed to call one of my colleagues who wasn't a Teams user and was using 8 by 8 work, that just works, um, you know, and it's seamless. So that internal integration is working um, and it gives you the flexibility over which app you choose. Um, but if you're a, a Teams user, you're likely to want to stay within the Teams environment and, and, and application, which you can do now. Um, and obviously then that goes out to, we refer to it here as the PSTN network, but that goes out to the global, um, you know, comms network. So, you know, external calling. So that's, that's really, you know, what, what that is. You know, ultimately, again, in summary, it brings full external telephony functionality, external calling, um, call center, contact center um, into the Microsoft Teams um, experience, if that's what you're using. If that's not what you use, then you sit within um, 8x8 um, work, which is their application. I hope that's made that that clear. And, and when Matt goes through um, the sort of the demo earlier later on, you'll you'll see the Teams um, interface as well. So I'm just going to just flick through. I've got sort of four or five slides here before I, I pass over to um, Matt, and and I will look to see if we've got any questions before we pass over. And and really, the, there's there's screenshots and a, a couple of things that I just want to raise um, that um, are. In, in some cases, part of the eight by eight and Teams integration. In some cases, they're, they're just the you know, the eight by eight functionality that you get within their telephony platform. So we've touched on the fact that you will get that native Teams user experience. This is just a, a screenshot um, from my own Teams. Um, you can see that you know we've we've got calls, we've got speed dial, contacts, history, voicemail. Um, and obviously my, my recent call history and contacts there on, on the right, all within that very familiar um, Teams interface. I'm not having to go to an external application, um, soft phone of any description in order to get my telephone experience when I'm in that native Teams um, experience. So that's clearly from, um, from a desktop. Um, you have exactly the same function, uh, functionality from, from mobile. Um, so, you know, if you are more often than not, you know, mobile rather than office or home working, um, then you can take take that functionality as well. So that's, you know, iOS, um, Android, everything, everything you expect. And again, that's within the Teams um, application. Um, we, we won't we won't demo this so much in, in today, but just to be aware as well that in, if if I was at home or, or in my office and I was on a a Teams call, um, you know, from my desktop, but I needed to, um, I mean, go catch a train or whatever it may be, and I need to move my desktop and go mobile. I can simply transfer that to my to my mobile. It's very seamless, very easy to do. So again, it gives me that that flexibility and, and that mobility that that um, is increasingly important um, for us. So um, very easy desktop and very easy mobile applications um, centered around the the Teams application. And with the 8x8 um, integration sitting in the back end. One of the other um, common things that we see a lot um, when we're speaking with our clients is, is that frustration of a meeting room setup. Now, 
maybe maybe we're using meeting rooms less these days not being in the office but just really wanted to to make you aware that you know there's some excellent functionality that he might have within their their platform um that really just allows you to sort of you know turn up in the meeting room using um sort of a control panel type device um ipad or or laptop whatever it may be um, and you can you can just register into the into the the, the meetings um, it's, it's a very easy system so you know I, I know certainly from from my experience you know the, the huge frustration trying to get your laptop connected understanding what channel the tv is on and then getting the voice and the video will work in you know before you know it 15 minutes your meeting's gone and you haven't even got really signed in and set up yet you know this just takes all that frustration away it's a great system um, the analytics um two things here really you know analytics and context center so you know you you clearly get um analytics within the platform um and, and the calling that happens within teams um there's there's analytics there at a user level and a you know more of a business level around i know call policy call costs um call volume who's making calls who's receiving calls what type of calls etc so there's a lot of analytics that you get within the the platform um, but certainly some of the, the more legacy systems um, don't provide you, or if they do provide you, they're very restrictive in, in what and how you can get that information. And so, you know, as you'd expect it, you know, it's very modern, very web-based, very easy, intuitive um, to get the information you need, if that's important to you. Um, but with contact center, uh, and again, this doesn't have to be a large contact center, and, and there is, you know, it's one of the, the, the the sort of the higher um, licenses from an 8x8 perspective, um, you know, those analytics become really extensive. You can imagine if you are, you know, if calling is central to what you do, if you're, I don't know, if you're a recruitment, for example, and, and you, you really want to make sure that the right number of calls have been made, who's calling who, what time, you know, which you know, which of your recruitment consultants are, are putting in the, the volumes they need to be, um, there's, there's an awful lot of that analytic information there. What's really powerful, and, and I wish we could demo this today, but it, it is quite, a, you know, take quite a bit of time to, to go through, and we're going to run out of time now. Is is the speech analytics? Um, I mentioned earlier the traditional phone was um, what's analog, and obviously now we've, we're in sort of digital um, telephony. So that allows us to convert all that speech into digital data that can then be, you know analyzed um, with AI and everything that's coming through now, some of what can be done um, is amazing. So just an as an example, um, it's a, a, a funny little bug, you know, little thing I've got. I don't like CMI clients being referred to as customers. We refer to our clients as clients. Um, so using this tool, um, you know, it could be a trading, it could be a coaching thing. Um, if our service desk, um, you know, or, you know, our salespeople are referring to customers, you can program the system to be looking for that word and highlight when it's been used. And again, that could be a training, a coaching thing. It's just a silly example, but, you know, it really is, you know, extremely powerful what's, what's available in, in, in the platform. And then, um, you know, the devices, you know, modern telephony these days is not about having that um that sort of green or gray brick on your desk you know that traditional handset um i'm sitting here now with a with a headset on um working from home i could equally be doing this through um through my mobile um but you know i'm clearly on my desktop with, with my headset so you know you have have the ability you know whether it's headset traditional handsets uh, desktop mobile uh, that's that's all there and and as, as i referred to earlier you know within calls um, and meetings you can seamlessly move between each of those um, as you need to to give you the flexibility and then finally the um the integrations I talked about, uh, you know, this is one of the key things that you will get with with the 8x8 platform is the huge, um, you know, array of integrations that effectively are out the box. Um, now, you know, we use clearly, you know, at CMI, you know, HubSpot for our marketing, Office 365, and a couple of the other applications on there we use. So we integrate our telephony into that. So, you know, these these are some of the common platforms that are there. There are there are others, um, but these these integrations are effectively out out of the box um, if if you if you need them. Great stuff. Okay, let me um, before I move on to uh, the the sort of map to pass over to the demo. I'm just going to look for. You've know, got a couple of questions in. Just a couple. So. Well, if you if you're there, maybe um, one of the questions I've actually got it's the same same question ultimately, but 
um, just this thing, a, a dedicated internet line. So I referred to earlier that we, you know, we don't need a dedicated internet line. Is is there any advice you can give on on whether we need that, or or, or is that really we just don't need that? So I'm sure Matt will have, be able to cover the, cover this off as well. But from my point of view, you know, one of the USPs of eight by eight is where, you know, we 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 are able to tether our service over the public internet and you know and that's something we're quite proud of you know it's um it's it's something we've been doing for the past 25 years now obviously you know each each customer we we're happy to discuss with it you know we're happy to diagnose network um <clears throat> network requirements and what network is in place um you know all the way from you know being able to discuss if we need to split a direct line as well um but in for, for our preference for, you know providing um, there is enough bandwidth to run our traffic via video meetings or contact center or, or through, um, you know, inbound or outbound calls. Um, you know, we're, we're happy to do that. But the key thing to note, um, everyone, is that we we check this even before any any paperwork is signed. You know, we don't we we won't allow an eight by eight solution. Um, you know, if we don't feel the if, if the network is fit. But I'm, like I say, I'm sure I'm sure Matt will. From a technical standpoint, we'll we'll have something to say on it. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, try, to, I'll, I'll try not to geek it up, but um, yeah, we have a, a network test which we will run beforehand to check things like ports. Uh, we got over 200 patents, and a lot of these are around, uh, you know, call quality. Um, you know, so that they, and then a lot of our most of our the majority of our customers are over the public internet. I think we even have an SLA to that effect. You know, so yeah, but you know, call quality is key for us. Excellent, thank you guys. Um, and I'm just one last question we got here. Again, one was, do we need any hardware on site? And then another was, do we need existing handsets? Well, I'll, I'll cover that off quickly. Um, there is no hardware on site. Um, you know, that's that simple. It's all completely cloud-based. So you just need your device um, and an internet connection ultimately. Um, and, and whether you can use existing handsets, um, you know, both CMI and certainly I know 8x8 are, are very much firmly of the opinion that the handset is very legacy and we, we need to be moving away from that traditional handset. That said, we recognise that you know some people and some businesses that, that's either harder to do or they're reluctant to. It's, it's, it's a fairly, um, it's almost a cultural change of, of people using their telephony. Um, so you know that's something we would have to look at again as to whether the the handsets you have um, are compatible and supported um, by by the platform. Um, so again, you know, we'll, we'll, we cover that off before we even get to the point of um, you know signing up, as it were. Great. Okay. Um, we. I'm, I'm running a couple of minutes late, so sorry, Matt. I, uh, I, I took up some of your time there. Do you want to? If I if I flick over, um, and we're going to change presenter over to Matt. Um, just bear with us while this moves over. Um, and then Matt's going to we'll just talk you through a sort of a five minute demo of, of of the platform and the interface, just so you can really see see it in, in for real. Okay. So I'll do the usual. Um conference call um, type thing. Hopefully you can all see my screen. Yes, yeah, I can, yeah. Good, okay. Right, so uh, as, as what Graham alluded to, this is the Teams interface. Now, as far as your end user is concerned, they see no difference. You know, eight by eight works, works behind. So you now they will make and receive calls as they did before. What they do get is the benefit of the eight by eight infrastructure behind that, you know, the telephone numbers and they, uh, a call coming in, which I will answer. So again, your phone controls, all these things are as they had before. So from an end user point of view, you know, we can put an eight by eight, you know, they don't have to learn a new process of transferring, making calls and all those sort of good things. Okay, but what they do get is, you know, our call plans into multiple countries, you know, our SLA and call quality, you know, access to things like the auto attendance of ring groups and the queue. So those telephony functions that and Microsoft historically have not been great at doing. Um, if you expand out on that, you then got the integrations. Again, Graham alluded to this. Um, you know, we have a raft of native integrations. You know, here's a list here. They tend to be generally sort of click the dial and screen pop. And certainly I can show you this with Salesforce. So we have this uh, sort of phone applet, which is phone control, which will sit within your CRM. And again, if I sort of make an inbound call, You'll see that you get the screen pop, the call will be presented to Teams. Okay, so I can answer. I'll just mute that. Now I get details on you know, that caller, it's recognized a number. Again, within here, I can do sort of 
call control, you know, I can record the call, all those good things. And then if I finish, we'll actually push information into the CRM as well. So, you know, date and time of the call, put it into a task and even, you know, potentially a link to the call recording. So you get all those you know, added benefits of the 8x8 platform. So my understanding is that Teams doesn't even have an integration into Dynamics, you know, their own CRM, or we do. Okay. And again, expand on that, so that's your end user. In terms of management of that, you then get access to the analytics. So you can look at the calls being made. Um, and like a lot of our sort of setups or, or you know, reports, you have this sort of broad company overview. You get a broad look at everything that's going on. You can then tailor that down to you know, individual extensions. What was Frank doing on whatever such a day? Okay, and you can get a dashboard on Frank or whoever it may be, you know, when are they making their calls, when are they missing their calls? And then your usual sort of call detail records, so a line of text for each call. So, you know, you've got management of your telephony. Maybe some nice things like unreturned calls. So, you know, you can look at calls that have come in that have either gone to voicemail or been hung up, you know, that haven't been called back over a certain period. So, you know, your warm lead or your support calls. And again, you can expand that out into queue reporting and ring groups. Okay, so you get a raft of these analytics that you can use, you know, on your team's users on your system. Okay. And then if I go up another level in terms of administration, okay, this is where you sort of configure your integration between 8x8 and Teams, and it's essentially single click. So not only do your end users hopefully have a nice, seamless, easy experience, but your IT or admin or us, whoever's doing this, you know, you essentially sync with the 8x8 system, you'll sync with the teams, you'll bring up all your users and we sort of match these on um, sort of email address, okay, so this will be a teams user, an 8x8 user, that will sync. So all the sort of PowerShell commands, all those sorts of things are done through this integration, okay, so from a you know, admin point of view, it is point and click, you know, and it will sync off, connect up, and you are away to go, okay. And uh, I know I had 10 minutes, I can't believe that's only been four, but that <laughs> essentially is Teams. Um, again, I mean, the whole point is simplicity. You know, your end user, you know, again, all the benefits without any of the pain of, you know, having to change the way they operate. And that, you know, we're talking about software here and mobile handsets, but even if they got, you know, a Teams desk phone, you know, that still will be using the um, 8x8 sort of back end. Okay. Excellent, thanks, Matt. It, it, it is, you know, it's one of those difficult things to, to demo, isn't it? Because it is ultimately just so simple. Um, you know, we're, we're used to, you know, telephony is telephony. Um, but I think the, you know, within, you know, your your screen on the right there, where we've we've, we've got the teams and, and the telephony, um, you know, there, you, you have you know, the usual, you know, voicemail um, applications, you can, um, you can record calls, um, you yeah, very much as you can record, you know, you know or sort of video meetings as it were within teams at the moment um so you know it, it's very simple um you know the the history that you can see there on matthew's screen um clearly is a lot of calls you're making to yourself matt um <laughs> in this case, <laughs> more friends um, but you can see that plus four four um so you know you, you can see those sort of internal teams based calls and um the you know the the external PSDN you know the public telephony um, calls that are made. I think one thing that is important to to say is that you know where you know for those of you that are using Teams now and are effectively calling your colleagues through the Teams platform that is going through Teams um, over the over your your internet connection as it were. Um, when you're when you're actually calling you know externally through with this eight by eight you're going over the eight by eight network um, and that is all seamless that's that's what the integration does at the back end effectively your team just passing that call so it goes through all of the eight by eight um call quality control security etc cetera, etc cetera. um and and typically you know those those the quality of those calls is significantly higher than would be if it was going through the microsoft platform because the platforms are just you know completely different um Okay, that's that's excellent. I think um, this, um, let me just see if a question come here. Does the recipient need to have Microsoft Teams? So, um, Matt, I mean, if, if if you want to answer that, but in in essence, no, they don't. No. So the so, so eight by eight. Obviously, we have our own endpoints. Uh, you know, work D and work mobile. 
so certainly you can use that so you don't need to use teams um what this is giving you is is that you can communicate between the two so from teams i can ring um you know, someone at your warehouse staff that might not want a teams license you know, those sorts of things you know, you're integrating the two so you can you know put them in as a contact you know here on a speed dial or a contact you know and be able to ring them and you know speak speak to each other so you know you can give a telephony platform to the whole of your estate not just the teams users so you know what our integration essentially is is you know, teams is your endpoint yeah thanks out of that and and you know from from the from the recipient externally you know if, if i'm if i'm calling um I know somebody, one of one of our um, suppliers, for example, um, then of course, you know, all, all they're receiving at their end is is a telephone call. Now, whether that, whether that's presented to them on a desktop, a, um, a a traditional handset, you know, it all depends. But it's, it's presented, so they don't need to have Teams. Um, there are some benefits in in hooking up if 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 two organisations have Teams. There are some benefits in actually hooking those together and and, and providing some sort of secure linkage. Um, but that's 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 a team's um, functionality. The um, the questions are, are starting to flow sort of thick and fast. So I, I know we're not going to get through all of these. So if you put a question through, um, I will make sure we, we cover those off. One question, on, I'm not sure you can show this, Matt. Um, can you show us some hunt groups? Um, I can. Groups? OK. So, so that, that will be a setting. So um, if you bear with me while I uh, log in. This is really testing the live demo now, isn't it? Because that was unplanned. We're always prepared for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, very easy, everything on a web browser. In terms yeah, of but said, so this is a system. Uh, so this is a configuration of the 8x8 system, um, which is again, sort of web page based. Uh, so, a, you know, a user will be in here under the user. They just have to be an 8x8 user. Okay, it's very easy you know these are your ring groups and your core queues it's point and click you know you can create a ring group you give it a name allocate to a site you know allocate a telephone number if you want that external or numbers now, how do you want to display and then you add your members again you know how you want it to ring whether it's sequential they all ring you know what order they come in so simple as that point and click save and then you know if you're a member of that ring group and a call comes in doesn't matter whether you're on an eight by eight application or on teams your phone will ring with the, you know, the correct display etc again it's all easy the admin itself you know this is all the programming so you can set this up you know if you want to do it and there's you know nice easy guides on the right hand side so you know if you are setting up a ring group again we do it day in day out but you know if you're doing it once every six months you've got these nice easy guides that will sort of walk you through that if you want to self-administer Excellent, perfect. So um, I'm going to just take back the uh, control there, Matt. So thank you for that. I'm conscious very much that we've got a couple of minutes left, and, and I, I, I did promise that we would not overrun. Um, so uh, there are questions. I, I'm, uh, Adam, Emma, Anthony, Matt, uh, Mahi, I will get back to you as soon as I can after um, this session with um, the answers to, to your questions. So please be assured we won't forget them. Excellent. Okay. Um, so really last couple of slides, um, just, you know, what, what's needed um, in, in essence, in order to be able to, um, you know, take, take this integration forward into your Teams platform. So this slide here um, is, is a comparison of, um, I guess, the more complex to the simpler options that are available with you. Um, and as you expect, you know, everything I've said, the eight by eight um, integration is the easiest way. So really what we've got here is the, these blue, the blue areas are, are your Microsoft subscriptions. Um, now this, this diagram has the, the Office 365 E1 through E4 plans in the enterprise one through enterprise four plans. Um, but it's, um, it's equally the same for what used to be called business premium, um, but it's, it's now business standard and, and business premium, you know, sorry, Microsoft 365 business standard and business premium, the, the rebrand in Microsoft did a, um, a few months ago. So you, you have your core Microsoft 365 subscription. Um, you will then need to um, add, add on their phone system license. Um, and then from an eight by eight perspective, or, you know, this, this bottom um, row, um, you will, you will have your eight by eight subscription, which um, 
gives you access into into the the 8x8 platform um, and that's through what we call the x series so x1 through x8 um, just to give you an idea x1 which is the the entry level which is um, sufficient for for most people and this is any complex requirement um, or any sort of more um, analytics or reporting required x1 is is 10 pound um, per user per month um, and then on top of that, you will need the um, the license to to enable the Microsoft Teams integration. So all you really need over and above what you're going to need from Microsoft for any system is is your X1 series, uh, sorry, your X series, and then the the, the voice for Teams um, plugin. Whereas you can see if I take to the extreme at the top, you know, yes, you've got your Microsoft, um, you've then got some third party services, um, that are some sort of technical stuff and SIP trunks and your minute call plans. And then you go into the third party, you know, contact center and, and telephony solution. So really all you need, if you're, um, you'll, you'll have your Microsoft 365, your Office 365 subscription at the moment, you will need your 8x8 telephony, which in essence is, is you know, um, the replacement to your existing telephony. And then if you then want to take that and integrate that telephony into Microsoft Teams, you just simply need to add on the, the Microsoft Teams um, license. Uh, it's very simple, and, and broadly, um, that that Microsoft Teams license is around about the sort of the five pound mark, just to give you an idea. Um, so, yeah, really, you know, final slide uh, from from me um, on on the eight by eight is it's just a, a summary. Uh, you know, I, I won't go through all these. It's really just a summary of, of what we've talked through. You know, the main one um, really is is that consistent experience. You know, I, I refer to the fact that we, um, from a CMI perspective, moved from you know three or four different phone systems that we had across our various offices into you know into eight by eight. Um, and until we had the Teams integration, we you know we we had. I was using Teams for my sort of internal calls and meetings, and I was using eight by eight work for my external. With with the with the integration, I just do it all in Teams now. Um, it's really simple. Um, so it's that that consistent user interface, um, familiarity, less support issues, um, etc. There's um, you know the eight by eight platform you know it's a truly global um, platform there's some numbers i think it's about you know 100,000 customers globally on the platform there's some numbers we can provide if, if if that's needed the integrations the analytics the integrated contact center not needing any additionals um, and one we've not specifically touched on but you know a broad range of you know security and compliance you know whether that's um, you know, UK-based security and compliance requirements that you may have on your industry, or if you're international and some of these things are, are US-based, you know, there's, there's a broad range of, of, of those there as well. So it really is, um, you know, quite an extensive um, platform. Um, and, and to be honest, in, in, in 40 minutes, it's very difficult to, um, to, to get across the full power of that platform um, um, to you. So what I would recommend is, um, you know, we will be in in touch. Um, we've got a number of clients on here, and and, and a number of, uh, of of businesses that aren't clients. Um, we will be in touch. Just really encourage you to um, just have a conversation with us. Explain to us, you know, what you've got now, um, what you're trying to achieve, what the what the what the issues you're having and challenges, and and, and we'll help, um, I guess, navigate you through what can sometimes be quite a complex. Um, sort of decision, um, not necessarily complex because it is complex, just complex because we're just not used to, you know, having to, having to do that. Um, excellent, so I hope that was useful for you. I do just want to sort of um, signpost our next webinar. Um, as I mentioned right at the, the start of this, you know, we, you know, webinars are fairly key to us. It's, it's one of the, um, you know, they're typically very well attended from um, clients and otherwise, um, and it's, it's one way we can really do what I said we do, which is keeping business informed about you know, how how technology can help your business. So our webinar, our next webinar, will be on the 12th of November. Um, and again, it's really looking at how we can extend the use of Teams um, into your business and, and 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 put in place what we would refer to as a, a, a modern internet. It's going to be a really um, interesting webinar. You know, we, again, we we we're just starting. It with, you know, just starting to do this in the last six months within our business, and it's completely changed how we use and share data. So, really encourage you to do that. Um, newcmr.com slash events. Um, the registration for that actually isn't quite live there yet, but it will be by the end of the week. So if you can just sort of I don't know, make a note of that address, um, keep an eye out for the, you know, the, the marketing emails that will come your way. Um, and we hope to see as many on, of you on that as we can. Um, 
I've not done very well on my promise, have I? Um, we're 11.45, so do apologize for taking those extra five minutes. Um, my contact details are there. You've been receiving the emails from me. Hope that was useful. And thanks again to Matt and Will for your help um, and being you know, a, a great partner to us on the, on the telephony side. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll see you all again soon. Um, have good days. Thank you.